When was the first time you realized music was a part of your life? Do you remember that? that? When I was three, mm -hmm. I discovered a piano at my aunt's house. Mm -hmm. I saw these with white teeth. This, whoa, what is that? Ah! As soon as I heard that sound, I somehow knew that's my destiny. But it wasn't until I was 15 that I was sure. I noticed that whenever my practicing went well, everything in life seemed to be harmonized by it. So I knew that it has a profound effect upon my personal life. You know that another reason why we, we can exchange things and not act as teacher pupil is because we both play the piano, we both teach, we both compose, except that I don't conduct. You, you outsoar me in that area. But the process of what we do at, the mu at music doesn't stay with the music it projects into our life. Yeah. So this is what is going on. When we're teaching, we have to make the pupil feel that they, the disciplines that they're learning at the instrument has to carry on into their personal life. Mm. So when I reached 90, that was a turning point in my life. You know, first of all, it's, f it's formidable to think that you've lived 90 years. My goodness. So I did a lot of soul searching. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I really do, I love myself. Do you notice I didn't say I like myself? I gave up that word because it's too stupid. Mm -hmm. The word love is much better. Mm -hmm. It's a deeper meaning. I don't think that you could love anyone unless you learn to love yourself. I believe I'm getting this award because I leave behind a lot of people who feel better about themselves since I've known them. So I've contributed to their lives. And that's what makes me happier than, than anything. Hi, my name is Morris Deutsch and I am chair of the board of New Orchestra of Washington. I'm so happy to have a nice crowd here to enjoy the music produced by our musical director and conductor, Alejandro Hernandez Valdez, as well as to witness the giving of NOW's Arts Matter Award to an extraordinary person, Seymour Bernstein. I hope you all got to watch the documentary, Seymour, an Introduction, where we learn more about Seymour and the enormous contribution he has made to the lives of musicians. He has served in many roles musically, but I think most importantly, as a teacher, who conveys the emotion of music and life wonderfully to his students. You'll hear about this from one of his students we all know, Alejandro. Thank you and enjoy the evening.
So I don't think it's a coincidence that this is the fantasy in C major. Why is that? It's not a coincidence. Why do you think? Because C stands for Clara. Oh, that's a, actually I've never thought of that. That is very clever. As a matter of fact, I've mentioned that to a lot of musicians. Wow, well, never thought of and that. And nobody ever thinks of that. No, that, that's a new one to me. But I think it's on purpose. Throughout all music, there sounds the colorful dream of the earth. One quiet note played for a secret eavesdropper. So he's in the poem, there's a secret note played for a, an, an, a, an eavesdropper. So when he gave this to Clara as a wedding present, he wrote her a little note. He said, you are that secret eavesdropper and listen to this one he said to her you are the note of my life can you picture so beautiful a thing to discuss it. That is sure. just so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Dear Uncle Seymour, happy, happy birthday. I'm so glad to have this opportunity to tell you how much I love you, how much you've meant to me from the day I was born all through my growing up years. I looked forward to your visits, to our holidays together, to our trips together. I loved when you came over to our house because you made my parents laugh more than anyone else. And it was always so much fun. And of course, the most beautiful music that you made, especially with mom and dad, but also with me. I enjoyed every minute of it. And I can't thank you enough for being there for me, for being part of my family. And you'll always be my Uncle Seymour. Happy birthday.
And the sea less. Now I do the A. And of course, Schumann has that A there. But I add the A here. There is that A. See, you know, the only difference between your performance and mine, the notes that are not the melody, mm -hmm. I'm playing softer. Now you did something so beautiful here, and I do the same thing. You're making a big deal of this octave here. Now when I do that, you know what I think of? I think of the moonlight, and I think he was thinking of that too. But this is my desire. I sometimes even have to shake my head. <laughs> so. Can't help it, I have to do this. <laughs> I was so honored and fortunate in 2019 when I was chosen to be the Arts Matter Re Award recipient by the New Orchestra of Washington, an organization I serve on the board of, but which I've admired for such a long time for their spunk, for their creativity, for their beautiful descriptions and really interesting programs and what they represent in this lovely city of music. Something new, something fresh, something very, very vibrant and exciting. It is, of course, an enormous pleasure to recognize that the 2021 recipient of the Arts Matter Award goes to a legend, Seymour Bernstein. We've all known about Seymour Bernstein for decades. He is a legendary pianist. And of course, I, I'm so touched by his documentary that has made such an impact on so many of us, tells a powerful story. I can't say enough it seems almost absurd to me that I fall, I came before you, Seymour, in getting this award, but you are so special and happy birthday, your 94th birthday. And you're such a spring chicken in the way you appear, even long distance, I see that. And long life to you and thank you for everything you've done and everything you continue to do.
segue into this. So you mean a lot to so many people. You mean a lot to me. You mean, you mean a lot to, to our community of musicians. You've taught so many of us. You've changed our lives. Um, and you continue to do so. And as you just pointed out, you're going to be 94, am I correct? In a month? You're going to be 94 in a month, am I correct? Yes. When is your birthday? April 24th. And, and you keep on, again, keep on enriching people's lives every day. You're still teaching during the pandemic, am I correct? You're teaching on face, FaceTime? What are you using? FaceTime. FaceTime? Yes. So it's amazing. It's very inspiring to see somebody with your energy, with your uh, generosity, and it, you don't stop. And that is just, again, something that is very inspiring to all of us. So on behalf of the New Orchestra of Washington, we wanted to award you with our Arts Matter Award. Oh, but it's this I, I cannot think of a person that deserves it more than you do. And I, I just wanted to thank you. Oh, how amazing. This is beautiful. This is very precious. I can't thank you and your organization enough. Thank you. And I can only th feel how lucky your organization is to have you as the conductor. Thank you. It's a, it's a great organization. It's a, it's a group of friends uh, and, and supporters, and we've been going for 10 years. And the, the community has embraced this orchestra. It's a small orchestra. It's a small orchestra that, that is very forward-thinking and uh, very energized, and uh, we keep on making a difference in the community. And we're just very grateful that We've been able to connect with people like you and others that have received the award uh, and, and that, you know, we keep on moving from, from where we are to the next stage um, in, in a very fulfilling way. So we're very, very proud of our small organization. It's a family. So it's we're very wonderful, happy. wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for everything. It's just amazing that, you, that you've accepted this. And I wish we would have you in person, you know, for the for the gala. But uh, obviously, the the pandemic uh, well, disrupted we'll, those plans. We'll but, all uh, meet on Zoom. But we'll we'll, we'll right. still make the the gala happen on Zoom. Yes, absolutely.
that little hairpin mm -hmm. he's telling you you to broaden out before that burst of the A mm -hmm. he wants you to do it even if he didn't put it in you should do it mm -hmm. and I do this I break right. the hands <laughs> Anyway, for example, that F is so painful yeah. that I think you have to screw up your face. <laughs> you know, I can't bear it. Actually, I turn my head away. Mm -hmm. right. You know, if I play it. I can't bear it. <laughs> you see the double stem uh, yes. of the melody? Mm -hmm. But your chords are so loud mm -hmm. they, they that we it. can't follow it. Okay, I'm going to try it. That's good, that's good.
I love that chord. I love that G major. So that A major chord. <laughs> Maybe that's the secret note. All of us have mentors in our lives, but to have somebody like Seymour Bernstein in your life as your mentor is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I first met Seymour in 2015 when a friend of mine invited me to a piano masterclass that he was giving in New York City. I had admired Seymour for many, many years through his videos and, and also through his books. And um, I knew about his philosophy and had been a big follower of his teachings. But it wasn't until that day when I saw him teach in person that something was stirred in me and I was deeply moved. When I got home, I immediately emailed him and asked him if he could become a piano teacher. To my delight, he agreed. And ever since he has become so much more than a teacher, he has become my dear friend. And as I said before, the most inspiring mentor. Seymour's lessons aren't just about piano, they're about life. Through music, he teaches us the true value of honesty, of being yourself, saying what you think and doing what you believe. Seymour was a successful pianist who performed around the world, but at the pinnacle of his career, he quit and began teaching and composing. He could have continued to have a very successful career, playing in Carnegie Hall and other places, but decided what he wanted to do was something different. He chose instead to spend time passing on what he'd learned to others. It sounds simple, but it's a very courageous thing to do. Seymour knew just what he needed to be fulfilled and stay true to himself. And it wasn't necessarily what the industry wanted him to do. Seymour learned from his own experience that when a person is unable to give time and attention to their innate talents and creative forces, dissatisfaction seeps in into other aspects of life. Seymour teaches people to play life more beautifully by taking care of themselves through cultivating their talent. I've been very lucky to have Seymour around me for all these years. And my time with him is truly invaluable. For the past many months, I've missed his childlike wonder and deep wisdom. But I am very happy that tonight we can get together as a community to celebrate him. 94 years, an incredible, incredible legacy. And thousands and thousands of, of happy students that have been transformed through what he believes and through who, what he is as a, a, as a person in his core. So, Seymour, we love you very much and we wish you a happy birthday and many happy returns. Thank you for accepting this award. Thank you for being with us this evening. And again, we love you very much.
And now I just fill out everything. I play a big F major chord here. Look. Look, see every all these notes? Hmm. Listen, I'm I'm improving upon what Schumann did. Mm -hmm. And I and I'm not guilty about it at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not going to change the pedal here. Listen. See, immediately the climax is ruined. Gone, yeah. I'm going to let it blur. Turn off that it's tone. Okay, <laughs> we can edit it out. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible! Now I have to play that passage again. 